Hello and welcome to another ADAS calibration video. Today we have a 2023 Nissan Altima and we'll be calibrating the Adaptive Cruise Control or ACC front radar and we'll be using our new 3-in-1 radar calibration frame. So let's go ahead and get started. As with all ADAS calibrations, it all starts with the display tablet here. So we're using the iSmartLink 801. We'll go ahead and connect the VCI to the vehicle's OBD2 port. Now this is a Nissan, so it does have a gateway um, set up. So we'll have to pump the accelerator pedal twice uh, right at key on. So let me go ahead and do that now. I'm pressing the accelerator pedal down two times after key on. And then we'll go ahead and press ADAS calibration. All right, we'll start with an ADAS system scan. And then we'll go ahead and generate our pre-repair report. Now this vehicle is obviously for demonstration purposes, so we don't currently have any fault codes, but we'll hit save and we'll move forward as if we do have a code. So next we're gonna click on ADAS calibration function. We're gonna choose ACC radar calibration and millimeter wave radar adjust. And now this puts us into the decision of when, what type of frame we're gonna be using. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be uh, using the radar three in one calibration frame. So I will go ahead and select that. And next we'll go ahead and uh, set up uh, the frame so we can start the calibration process. The first thing we need to do is define the center line of the vehicle. So we'll be plotting two points, our point A here at the front of the vehicle, and later we'll pl uh, plot point B at the rear of the vehicle. So we'll take our plumb bob. For the Nissan, it's gonna be on the second S right at the edge. Get that to line up. And then we'll place our cross marker right at the center point. And then we'll go ahead and place our five line laser and we'll turn this on and adjust it for the rear. So next we'll move to the back of the vehicle and plot our point B. Here at the rear, uh, the rear of the vehicle, we'll go ahead and plot our point B. and place down our cross marker. And then we'll place our reflective panel facing towards the front of the vehicle. Now we'll move back to the front of the vehicle and turn the laser on. Back at the front of the vehicle, we'll now go ahead and place our five line laser and we'll go ahead and point it back to the reflector using our auxiliary mirror here. We should be able to see that reflector There we go. And then we click on the V button one more time. And this gives us our center line. So now that we have our extended center line, we'll go ahead and place a cross pad at a distance of 13, 13, 20, uh, 13 12, I believe. We have a plus or minus 20 millimeter uh, variance here. So I'll go ahead and place this right here at 13, 12. using our center line and our tape measure. So this is where the target will be placed. So I'll go ahead and move our tape measure out of the way. And then I'll position our target. 
And if you look here, we have a, uh, some cross lines carved into the plate. And this will tell you exactly where to position the target. So this is an LAM 0502. We'll position the target cross plate right at that mark. The last step is to go ahead and set the height and angle of the target. So first we'll go ahead and move this to position two. Next we'll turn on the point laser, which you can see radiating on our, our sign. And we'll need to bring the target up to the center point of the, of the radar. For this particular Nissan, it's, it's behind the um, front plate there. So we'll go ahead and adjust that height. I'll press the adjustment button. We'll bring it up and you can see the laser right between the two S's. And then I'll go ahead and lock it down. And then confirm that we're still centered here. So we're now ready to calibrate. So with the calibration frame all set up, I'm going to go ahead and stand behind the radar and we're ready to press the calibration button on the tablet. Next we'll press start. And we have a success, alignment completed. So we'll go ahead and create our ADAS calibration report. This shows we have a success with the adjustments made. We'll hit save. We'll hit the back arrow. We'll click on report. Change the report type from pre-repair to post-repair. Click on add. We'll add the pre-repair and the diagnostics part of the reports combined to make the post-repair report. We'll hit OK. And here we have our completed post repair report. So we hope you found this video helpful. We'll see you at the next one. Thank you.